Hi, we're going to do a quick and dirty review of the basics of gameplay for ElfQuest, the adventure game. We have set out here our four characters of Redlance, Nightfall, Moonshade, and Strongbow. Each of them has all eight of their hand cards, the smaller cards, and the associated cubes from those hand cards and from their character cards. We've been playing for one season, and each character has already gained one success token that has been placed on the card. All right, notice we are starting on season two. We're saying we've already played one full round, so every character has had one action. So now every character on season two gets an action as well. This Avoid New Humans is the current event. To pick it on the left side, or the number of successes and cubes that need to be discarded in order to complete it. In this case, it is five successes and one green cube. In the middle, we see a symbol, meaning it's a solo event, so only one character may attempt this. In the middle, we see that character attempting it. We're going to send Red Lance. Red Lance gets the three white dice for the first time attempting the event, plus one black die for every green and yellow cube he possesses. He has currently two green and one yellow cubes, so he gets three black dice to add to his pool of three white dice. He's not liking those odds, so notice in the center of the event card, there are some traits, forest, human, and travel. If he has any of his small hand cards that have these matching, one at least one of these matching traits, he may use it during his turn, only while attempting something, so this, he's going to use his Forester card, he's going to flip it over, because it has the Forest trait on it, as does the Avoid New Humans. Before flipping it over, he gets three additional black dice to add to the pool. So he now has six black dice and three white dice. He needs five successes, that means five of the dice need to show either a result of five or six. He has one, two, three, four successes. That's not quite enough to complete the event, so putting the four success tokens on it. One use for stored up success tokens on your character card from previous events is you may discard them to re-roll one die. So he's going to take one of these dice, re-roll it, eh, it stayed as a one, so that was no help. Your choices at this point or to leave the event alone to be completed in the next season, meaning your other three characters are going to have to do something else, a task from the home card. Or one option is to have Nightfall use her sending card. Now these are the one hand cards that can be used at any time, even during another elf's action. This represents their telepathic ability to communicate with each other. She is going to send him some advice. So she's going to flip her sending skill card, flip it over, gaining two successes to provide to another elf's event or task. That will bring his total to six, which is more than enough to complete it. Sadly, you don't get to keep any extra or excess successes generated from sending. So all of those are discarded. One green cube has to be discarded as well. So Red Lance will discard one of his green cubes. And it is complete. He gets to gain the reward. Reward is gain one growth token. Place that next to his character card. Continuing on with season two. Since the avoid humans has been completed, draw a new event. This is a tribal event. Scent of Danger, requiring seven successes, one blue and one green cube to be discarded in order to complete it. We are going to send Nightfall and Moonshade together on this event, because any number of characters may attempt to work on it. Red Lance has already gone this season. We're going to save Strongbow for something else. So this, again, they collectively get the three white dice on this first attempt plus one die for every blue and yellow cube they possess. Nightfall has a total of three blue and yellow cubes. Moonshade 
has four, so they get a total of seven black dice to add to their dice pool along with the three white dice. Remember they need remember they need seven successes in order to complete this. Got one, two, three, four, five successes. I'll place five success tokens on the event card. Since both Nightfall and Moonshade have previously earned success tokens, we're going to discard both of those to reroll two of these dice. See if they can get those last two successes they need. And look at that. They did it. So that brings their seven successes, which is what they needed. Now they need to discard one green and one blue cube in total. Not each, but just one of each. Moonshade is going to discard the blue. Nightfall will discard the green, thereby completing the event and gaining the reward. The reward is gain one gross token each. So every participating character, which is Moonshade, and Nightfall each gains one growth token. So finally in this season, Strongbow must take an action. He is going to undertake an action, a task from the Father Tree Holt home card. Home tasks always provide you with the three white dice to start with. These can only be solo events, meaning only one character can attempt them. He is going to do a training task, which allows somebody, if he's successful, to unflip one skill card. So he gets the three white dice from the home card. Notice on his character card, Strongbow gets an additional die anytime he undertakes a training task. And how tasks work is for every matching trait, so for training the learn, teach, and adult traits, each provide dice as well. Notice if any of the characters are an elder, they'll get two dice for that, or if they're ancient in age, they'll get three dice. Though one of the oldest wolf riders, Strongbow is still only an adult, so he gets one dice for that. And then any learn or teach traits he has on his hand cards will provide him with additional dice. He currently has none, so that is a total of four dice to roll. He needs three successes. If he gets three successes, Either he or any other character can unflip a skill card. He only got two successes. He also is going to discard his success token, previously earned, to re-roll one of these dice in hopes. Aha! And he gets a five. That's all that is needed. Even though this doesn't make logical sense, his training allows any character to flip over a used skill card for which Red Lance's Forester card qualifies. It's got the two moon symbol on the side. It's a skill card. So it gets to flip it over to be reused at a future date. All right, so finally that was the entirety of season two. Move the token to season three. Since the current event was not completed, the gray crescent on the right side of the card shows a possible, pen possible penalty. You're gonna roll one dice and on a result of one or two, one character in the tribe, so any of the four characters, in this case, is going to have to flip over a hand card. We rolled a four, so nobody has to do anything we can progress on. So now because this was a tribal event, the same characters need not continue on the scent of danger. So we need not keep Nightfall and Moonshade both doing it. You can choose different characters, one character, does not matter. The only time the same character must continue on an event is if it's a solo event and was not completed in a previous season.